Hello and welcome to MIP TV. And um, with me is the is the book reader, bookworm extraordinaire, um, Bob Cook, who is going to share one of his favourite books. And I, I was I was taken by the title of this because it seems to be a bit of an oxymoron. <laughs> T approaches is to brief therapy. Yeah, T A like, approaches to brief, brief therapy. therapy. And I'm thinking T A and brief. Yeah, yeah, that's why I picked this book. Yeah, yeah. Because I thought it would uh, maybe tickle your fancy and maybe um, provide curiosity to many mm. of the um, readers of psychotherapy uh, when thinking of TA and brief um, approaches together. But this book was written by a well known author in the world of counseling in your realm, a well known author in transaction analysis and probably in other areas of therapy as well. He's written many books and edited many books. And his name, you'll know well, uh, Keith Tudor. Yeah, he's, 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 he's one that every student of counselling and psychotherapy, certainly counselling, would know, yeah. because he's, he's a, he's a well-known voice in, in counselling training, you know. Yeah, so he, he was a friend of mine. He, he, now lives, he now is, I think, professor. Is he in New Zealand? Anyway, he's in New Zealand. Right. Um, is he a professor of psychotherapy, Auckland University? I'm not sure. But he emigrated to New Zealand. Right. Well, I didn't know that. But, yeah, the title's interesting because when I think of TA, I, 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 may, I may be off the market, but I think of quite long engagements. You okay, know. well, let's just set this book, okay? Right. I'm going to give you a backdrop, uh, which has, isn't talked about in this book, but this is a Bob Cook backdrop. All right, okay. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm a great one for historical reference. So Eric Byrne, really, uh, as I said, we've reviewed this book, put his um, thoughts down in his first book, TA in Psychotherapy, 1961. Right up where we are in 2017, we had many different styles and approaches of transaction analysis. And now, I think, the psychodynamic or relational views of transaction analysis have hit the forefront, and that's how people think probably of transaction analysis in terms of um, more of a long-term psychotherapeutic process uh, with its backdrop in psychodynamic theory and strong relational roots. However, Eric Byrne was far from that. Um, he, many people might say, was the first C, you know, CBT therapist mm -hmm. of his time. His uh, emphasis was high on cognition, uh, CBT techniques, with a backdrop of your life, if you like, of psychodynamic thoughts and influences behind it. But whether this is true or not, well, I think it is, if we look at some of his biographies of Eric Byrne, he often talked about cure in one session. Oh. And he was a real advocate of, um, you know, uh, brief psychotherapy in the sense of we need to cure these people as quick as possible. He'd just come on the back of probably 14 or 15 years of his own analysis with Paul Fadern and Eric Erickson. Um, and he wanted to demystify um, uh, this uh, psychoanalytical language and he wanted to make therapy much shorter. And so he was an advocate in many ways of, uh, if he was around, of this book, I would think. Yeah, it's really interesting because he talked a lot, you know, in our book reviews, you talked a lot about Eric Byrne and one of the things I've take big takeaway for me was that um he, he didn't mention too much about the relational aspect no, no. and and in his early work he, he reckoned you had to go to the the, the kind of um blackboard to use the old parlance yeah. so and, to, and to draw the model out and teach it so it was almost like a cognitive model yeah um, in fact it was a cognitive model because he's yeah. teaching people how to think mm -hmm. in in the ego states so it, 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 I'm sure it will come as a, it was a surprise to me to find out that that um, he he pioneered, you know, very brief therapies, and I just wonder I wonder how the book Keith Tudor's book kind of aids in our understanding of that. And well, I, 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 it's a long time since I, I I've read it. I mean, I knew it was coming there, so I looked at it again, and I don't think it goes into the historical backdrop like that right. so much, um, because there's at least I think eight or nine other yeah, authors. So you've got people like Adrian Lee, who's a well-known um, 
uh, person in transaction analysis. There's a wonderful chapter, by the way, uh, going on from Byrne's idea of cure in one session. Her uh, chapter in this book is called Cure in One Session. And it's about how to, uh, using transaction analysis approaches, how to help a client stop smoking in one session. Wow. Mm. Wow. That's an interesting uh, chapter to read. That whets the appetite, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. It does, yes. <laughs> and there's a, other wonderful people. Um, there's a wonderful TA therapist and well-known one called, uh, called Barbara Allen and um, I forgot the husband's name. And they're talking about how to use um, TA in brief ways. You've got how to use transaction analysis and make new re-decisions very, very, very um, within successions. You've got the use of contracts uh, mm. and how to use them in brief psychotherapy. You've got uh, how to use CBT in successions using the TA, which is all about strengthening the robust adult in the book. So um, it's, a, it, it, it's a good book. I mean, I really like these different editors these different authors approaches to the remit of how to use TA briefly. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And he, I think it's interesting. This, this book was written by Keith Tudor, who of course um, he's best known for his, his thoughts and writings and um, research in the person centered world. Mm -hmm. um, so to, to see, you know, to see a, a therapist who's, who's kind of immersed in that, then, mm. then go and um, write, and comment on another modality gives us a real clue into how, how kind of pluralistic um, our, um, our profession is really. Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, yes, absolutely. Are. I mean, he's a, he's a fine writer and he talks avidly across the different domains. Uh, but if you're interested in um, how to use brief, how to use TA in a brief way, this book is for you. And of course, many of our people watching this video probably work with um, you know clients in placements or they work with clients mm. very short term and i do believe burns focus on strengthening the adult ego state up and his hallmark of contractual theory in other words yes observable behavioral mm. can be done not only from session to session but certainly uh throughout the arc of six sessions for example yeah, it's it's fascinating, isn't it? That um, that there's so many different takes on on approaches. But this sounds to me this sounds to be like a, a book really written um, to aid someone who's maybe in a time limited environment. Correct, absolutely. And how and how to use TA techniques to do that? Yeah, well, I I think that's a really interesting book. I know that I get a lot of people asking me about you know, how to be integrative, how to apply something else within the therapy room, another tool in the toolbox. Mm -hmm. So it may be that this, this book is a big help in that. And um, yeah. yeah, well, as usual, I uh, will put a link in the, in the comments bar below. Mm -hmm. So people can inspect the book. And as always, Bob doesn't get um, paid or any fee for his mm -hmm. book reviews. He just does it for his love of literature so um so i'm sure you wish you did get free books bob but um well, we're on to our 46 book review and the next one's 47 it so is paid uh, uh it'd be a very nice thing it would be well there you are. if you're if you're a publisher out there and you want to send bob some books um we'll put um we'll put manchester institute for psychotherapies uh, details in and you can send them to him i'm sure they'll be very well received so as always bob cook thank you very much thank you